Welcome to Monsanto. This is where they make the GMOs. <laughs> yep, yep. There aren't any mad scientists who work here at Monsanto. Now let's go see how GMOs are actually made from some real scientists. Hey Laura, can you show me how a GMO is made? Yeah, sure. It's actually pretty straightforward. To make a GMO, we do something called plant transformation, where we take a bacteria called agrobacterium and it delivers our genes into our plants. To do that, we kind of need a mailman, and this is agrobacterium. It's a soil-dwelling bacteria that has ability to transfer new genes into plants. So what we do is that we develop a, a gene or a letter um, that we want him to deliver, and then we put it into this solution. Now, the whole point of this process is that we have to get agrobacterium near the plant to put the new gene in. Here you can see this little petri dish full of these, they almost look like uh, little specks. This is actually the growing part of a seed, and we want to direct our new letter or our new gene into that growing part of the seed. So first we need to take off all this extra liquid in this cell that's keeping these um, little corn embryos nice and plump. So you're gonna take this little dropper and you're gonna try and remove all this liquid. Very good. And you can put it into this conical tube. So this is just water that we're removing. So then you're just gonna take this agrobacterium solution and you're just gonna drop about half of that pipette filled with that liquid and dump it in. All right, okay. so this is where it happens. We're gonna close the lid and you're gonna swirl it around for one minute. That's it. So we're gonna take off that agrobacterium because he's already delivered his uh, letter, his gene. He's done doing his job. So you're just gonna do like you did before and just take off all the liquid and dump it into the conical tube. And then you're gonna take your yellow loop and you're gonna gather all the corn embryos and you're gonna put them on this Petri dish, which contains auger. And auger is just gonna be a growing substrate so that the embryos can um, start to establish roots and shoots. Awesome. Yep. And we'll just spread them out so they all have room to grow. So in this process that we do here at Monsanto, um, we just space them out individually and this auger contains nutrients and things needed for the plant to grow. So you can start to see the cells divide, and this is uh, called a callus. It's basically just cells dividing and growing, and eventually the plant will start to grow roots and shoots. And then eventually it'll get up to this size. Now, this will get a little bit too big for the container, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this little seedling and put him into a soil plug so he can go up to the greenhouse. So now that we've created a GMO, what's the next step in the process? Right, so like all plants, they just need time to grow. So we put them in greenhouses to give them lots of light. Um, you can see here um, that we plug them to give them water and fertilizer. And over the next few months, they'll continue to grow and get bigger and actually produce an ear of corn. But before they get into the hands of farmers, they go through lots of testing, both here in the greenhouse and outside in the field, including safety testing. So the process of developing a GMO isn't some mad scientist in a lab. It's using nature to improve plants. It doesn't even work here. <laughs>